leather thickness and weights why they exist what we got and your questions answered today so let's take a look originally there are three main types of measures for leather we have irons we have millimeters and we have ounces irons was a standard developed and used primarily by cobblers uh, where one iron equals 1 48th of an inch. We don't use that too much anymore, so we won't dive too deep into here. We're going to focus primarily on our millimeters and inches. So millimeters is based on the metric system used primarily around the world, and inches is used in the basically in America. We have the imperial system of feet, inches, pounds, and ounces. And so when we look at leather, we're going to be looking primarily at ounce, you know, which is based on the thickness of the, the leather um, and weights and so with those ounces we have to figure out what does that mean right and in terms of leather you know the standard range of weights you know we talk about weights and thickness are primarily one to about 20 ounces you can definitely get thicker um, you can even get a little thinner but that's the general range most crafters are going to use between probably two and you know 14 2 and 16 for most things so anyway, how we get there. Uh, leather itself, as we know, is a natural product. So when it's being tanned, it'll have a natural variance in the thickness of the overall material across the entire hide. You know, so the back part of it may be a tiny bit thinner than the front part, which may be a little bit thicker than another. And so typically when you're buying leather, it's going to be between two ounces. So it'll be you know, two to three ounce, three to four ounce eight to nine ounce because that natural material has variations in its thickness and so you can't get exactly two ounces thick across the whole piece you know as common and as easy so when we're looking we're going to see that range you know two to three five to six etc and that explains the variances in the thickness just because it's natural next we're going to look at exactly how thick you know what does that ounce weight mean all right so how do we calculate ounces? Let's go through the process and show you how it's done. We're going to measure it both in weight, we have a scale, we're going to measure it in thickness and caliper and show you why these numbers add up. For convenience, this sheet as well has some um, easy to, to measure up uh, printed areas here, so we could even use that as a third check to make sure our other numbers measure out. But essentially, we'll do three things. So first we're going to do is we're going to check with the caliper. Uh, which is a digital measuring device that will give us uh, an LED readout of the specific thickness of this leather. And let's check that out here. So, if we come here, got around 2.23 over there, 2.4 over there, and again the hides are going to vary. So we're just going to look around 2.3. So we've got around 2.3, 2.4, so we'll say around 2.4. So next, that would be 2.4 millimeters, so approximately a six ounce weight. And so if we go to our scale here, and I'll turn this over. And we weigh this, this should be, again, it's gonna be one quarter of it, should be approximately 1.5 ounces around there. So 1.3, so that gives us around a you know, 5.2 ounces total, which would be between a 5 and 6, which would be, again, right around these measurements over we're getting between like 2.2 and 2.4. So this is perfect. So this right here is a 5 to 6 ounce piece of leather. And then if we come over here to our handy weights and measures and just kind of line this up, this will be between you know five and six as well so now we've literally checked the thickness we've checked the weight with the scale and we can see that that's how we get the leather weight and then a really handy piece that I think is always helpful to keep around is something called a, uh, a thickness sampler and I got this from I believe Springfield leather uh, they have some amazing things and what this does is essentially provide you a sample of a whole bunch of leather thicknesses that you can easily reference when you're in the shop so if you're planning a project you just pop this open 
take a look at what it is. Um, on the back of each one, it's marked, you know, what the leather thickness is. And this is a great way to really get a feel for, you know, would this be thick enough for your project? Too thick, too thin? Do you want to go up? Do you want to go down? But essentially having this on hand, you can always make an educated choice, you know, by feeling the actual material to get an idea of what will work best for your project. So I definitely recommend getting one of these. Uh, I've had it for years and, you know, it's one of my most helpful pieces when planning a project. So that's that. That is leather uh, thickness and weights, where they originated from, how they're calculated, and hopefully that helps when you're planning a new project to figure out what thickness you want to use. And then when you're shopping to understand, you know, why is it called ounces? You know, where does the thickness come from? How's it calculated? And um, even why it's between, you know, two ranges due to the overall natural uh, thicknesses of the hides and how they vary. So that's it. Uh, good luck. Hope you learned something fun and uh, enjoy crafting.